What's going on guys? Brady Heemstra here. It's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Today I figured that we would make the vlog about how I got started as a real estate agent, go over my history, and what, how I got to this point in my life right now. And Jade here is with me right now. And we're gonna start out by going to the kangaroo farm here in Kelowna, which is gonna be super fun, and Jade will be taking over for that aspect of the video. So let's head over. She didn't expect to see me. What's up guys? It's Jade taking over the vlog. We've made it to the Kangaroo Creek Farm. We're here to see some kangaroos, some kappas, some goats. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe some emus. Definitely an emu. I would say this is my most favorite part about living in Kelowna and probably the most unique part about Kelowna. Uh, I don't think there's any other kangaroo farms in Canada. I know we'll have to fact check that maybe, but uh, I know it's a little bit of Australia and Canada and it's kind of fun. So let's go check out some animals. Yeah, and afterwards I'll tell you about how I became an agent. So we finally finished up at the kangaroo farm. Now time to tell you how I became a real estate agent. So the year is 2019 and I just graduated with my bachelor's degree in economics from UNBC all the way in a small town in northern BC called Prince George. Now it was a super fun degree to get but I didn't really know what kind of career field I was going to get into. I was thinking maybe some embassy work or even something for a financial institution. Once I was graduating, I was about a month away, I saw a job posting for a local brokerage in Prince George looking for a videographer to hire. Now, I didn't study videography in school at all, but I've been making videos my entire life and it's something I've been super passionate about. So I thought, you know what, why not? Like, I'll apply, see if I get it, see if I don't and I ended up getting it. Now this brokerage was a startup and it was a pretty cool gig. I learned a lot about marketing homes and I did videos, photos, really any kind of content for a bunch of other agents in the brokerage. And long story short, I wanted to get licensed myself. I felt that my background in economics would really help me with the financial portion of the job and especially the exam. So I ended up flying to Vancouver um, to take the exam because it's the only place to really you can take it on a regular basis. So I flew to go see Jade. She let me stay at her place. You can come in the frame. <laughs> she let me stay at her place, well, her parents' place at the time. And I took the exam and passed on my first try. I was officially licensed. She cried. It was really cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> once I was licensed, the brokerage I was with I mentioned it being a startup before. It ended up not working out. It couldn't really hold enough agents in the brokerage. There were politics involved, you know, not gonna get into it. So now I was brokerage shopping. I knew an agent who was very successful in Prince George. He told me about this brokerage called EXP. It seemed very enticing to me because of the low overhead costs and also the fact that it was cloud-based. I always thought working from home, even pre-pandemic, was a cool idea. So I ended up joining with EXP. But around the time I joined, it was always 
my dream and also Jade's dream to kind of get out of our hometowns and come to the Okanagan. So what better time to come to the Okanagan than when I'm starting a fresh career and a new job. Not gonna lie, it was a little dry for the first six months. Yeah, it took around six months to get my first deal done. I wasn't sitting around waiting for clients to come to me at that time. I was using that time to help personalize and customize my brand and get all of my signage done, really just setting up my business and my systems so that they would require less work in the future, if that makes sense. So overall, I didn't really think or ever see myself as a real estate agent from the beginning. The circumstances and opportunities that have opened themselves up to me in my life has led me to this point. I love that I'm able to combine my passion for making videos and films with YouTube and my career. So I'm hoping to create a lot more content like this in the future. And I also want to thank you guys for helping me just reach 1,000 subscribers on the channel. It's a huge milestone that I've been really digging at for a long time. And now that I'm finally here, it feels so good. So thank you so much. And yeah, so now you guys know a little bit more about me, how I got here. And if you're just a new agent, I'd like to hear your story as well in the comments below. Like oh. the video if you want to see more of me. Yeah, like <laughs> it if you want to see more of her. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Gotta go do a showing now. Peace.